you see the signs of God, don't ignore them. Don't ignore them. See, that's a black spot on the sun. That is a sign of God. And people who read their book knows what that sign is. We're going to go into Acts 2, number 20. The sun will be turned to darkness. Turned to darkness gradually. And the moon to blood red. Before the day of the Lord comes the great and magnificent day. And we're going to go to Isaiah 13, 10. For the stars of the heavens and their constellations will not flash forth their lights. The sun will be dark when it rises and the moon will not shed its light. So, that's what we're seeing here. That's what we're seeing. Amos 8, number 9. When you see these signs like this, you, you, you take heed to this. You look in your scriptures and your scriptures are going to tell you exactly what you're looking at. Don't, do not listen to NASA. Do not listen to America. Do not listen to scientists. Only listen to God. They're, they're not God. They don't know. God knows. Amos 8, number 9. It will come about in a day, declares the Lord God, that I will make the sun go down at noon and make the earth dark in broad daylight. Broad daylight. We are in the end times. We are witnessing things that we never saw before in life. And the only reference we have is the book. Mark 13, number 24. But in those days after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened. Will be. Will be. Trust in the Lord, your God. Will be darkened. And the moon will not give its light. No reflection. Revelation 6, number 12. I looked when he broke the sixth seal. And there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth made of hair. The sun became black. And look at that. A sackcloth made of hair. That's what we're looking at right there. You see that? A sackcloth made of hair. The black inside of there was looking like a sackcloth made of hair. That's exactly what we're looking at. Don't let the mockers and the scoffers come to this page and tell us that we're fear-mongering because we know that the Bible says the, those, the fearful will enter the great lake of fire. And that's in Revelations. The fearful will. So, let them be scared. You know, let us believe. And now, new research published in January 17, 2017 by a global team of researchers focused on 11,000 relatively nearby galaxies and asked why their gas, their lifeblood for the formation of new stars is being violently stripped away on a widespread scale. Something dark is going over the skies and sucking the, the light out of the stars, sucking the gas, sucking the life force out. They are calling it dark matter. Almost sound like black lives matter, huh? But that's what they calling it, dark matter. Dark matter now, huh? The answer, according to these scientists, relates to the great halos of dark matter thought to surround galaxies and paints a picture of these galaxies falling through their larger halos. Having their stars, and this is science, forming gas removed in a fast acting process called random pressure stripping. In other words, black is taking over. The dark is here. You know, you, we're at the, the, the end. You can face it. Or you can play a game with your soul and be eternally damned. Um, you know, are you prepared for anything? Okay, some people would say, oh, we're having three days of darkness. It's going to be three days of darkness. Uh, and there's nowhere written in the Bible. But if you go to the verse of the Pharisees 
and Jesus talking to the Pharisees, and he's saying that um, you'll have no sign except for this, uh, the sign of Jonah. And Jonah was in three days of darkness. And I believe that's where they got the three days of darkness at. Um, what we're looking at here is, is, is the sun, black. Black. Large black spot. The sun is going out, my friends. You know, what, what do we do? You stay prayerful. You keep, you keep your house in order. You make sure you're clean, pure, decent. You're ready to go with your Lord when your Lord comes. You ain't ready to go. You ain't going. You know, knock all you want. He ain't letting you in. Look at that spot on there. Zach Claw. Do you have lots of candles? I mean, are you prepared for anything? Do you got some matches? You got a wood burning stove or a heat source? If the sun go out, wouldn't it be pretty cold? If it does go out, because it's saying, and you know, if it will, but I said when, maybe, that's what I say, when the sun go out. Do you have a heat source? I don't know if we all gonna be dead. And he said, and then you all die. It don't say that. It said it will be darkened and the moon will not give his light. The sun will be darkened and the moon will not give his light. It's gonna be pitch black. Could it be an ice age? Who knows? A wood burning stove would be, you know, just what the doctor ordered and, and, and a lot of wood. A lot of wood because the wood burning stove is going to be light, fuel, and heat. You know, everything could just freeze over. Everything could die off. What are you going to eat? Do you got like food stored? Or, like, if it's a, a freeze over, then ice age, all the animals pretty much is going to die off. You know, who knows? We've never been here before. All of this is new to us, you know. And no one is, besides God, an expert on anything. I'm not an expert. I just look at the signs. I compare science, the signs, God. And if it all matches with the book, then I bring it to you. Oh, my friends, it's all matching with the book. You know, so what I would stay, say is stay vigilant stay vigilant you know keep your eyes to the sky you know they had this in the news a while ago and this was the news uh, coverage that was going on where they was explaining why the sun had a big black spot in it and this was on Fox News you know in the newsroom and you know you get the expert as if he's been to the sun or and he's going to tell you exactly what you're looking at, folks. He can't tell you what you're looking at. The Bible can tell you what you're looking at. The sun is going out. That's what we're looking at, folks. And here's an object that people can't explain. They were filming the sun, and this object was coming into the sun. You know, and what this object uh, appeared to be doing was sucking the energy out of the sun sucking the energy out of the sun. So it hooks up to the sun and sucks the energy out of the sun and then it takes off. We don't know what's going on. Like We're new to this earth. We're new to this whole scheme of things. Uh, we gotta figure this stuff out before it's too late. You know, we don't know what this mysterious object is right here. We don't know anything. You know, and we can only rely on God. Can't rely on their data. Science always got to go back and correct itself. You know, update itself. God don't need updating. You know, God knows and we don't. And so, you tell me what we're looking at here. You know, uh, some very troubling times. And, you know, it's just one of those times that you go to bed and you don't know what's going to happen by the time you wake up. 
and that's where you at. You know, you don't know the whole world is gonna be it in, in a, a frenzy. You don't know, you know, you get up and you want to see what the heck happened while you were sleeping. You know, if you could stay up and just look, you probably would. But you got to go to sleep, you know. And when you wake up, you wonder what happened. Check the sky and make sure everything is still there and okay. And that's uncertainty, you know. Uh, the only certainty then will be God. You know, we can't pretend this away. There's some people, I don't know how they do it. They see all this stuff and they, and they pretend it away. It's almost like the movie where the person go outside and they see the monsters coming. And then they shake their head and go back in the house and then have a drink and act like nothing happened. You know, we're seeing the black spot in the sun. And the sun is going out, my friends. We can't pretend that away. We can't pretend that away. And for the dummies, no, we didn't put that in the sky. And it ain't a worldwide conspiracy for our dummies. It's real. Rap the news.